What's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome back to Wrestling Revolution 3D on the PC. Nothing on the schedule in the second week of February. So let's challenge somebody, shall we? Let's pick a fight with Okada, the Rainmaker. How do you feel, Okada, about facing me? I'm bored this week. Let's do it. Okay, let's make it happen. The Rainmaker's up for it. Let's go. Interpromotional contest today. Wait a minute, you tricked me, Okada. It's a tag team match, playa. Holla holla. I wanted to go one-on-one -on -one with the IWGP champion in real life. Not in this game. Uh, but no, I get to go in a tag team match with Chad Gable. Versus Okada and somebody else in chaos. Perhaps Ishii, perhaps Yano. I don't know. At this point, it's, uh... With this game, how it handles tag teams, man, I really don't know. So, who's it gonna be? Okada. Oh, it is Ishii! Stone Pit Bull! 141. Bite you! Bite you! Anyway, welcome to a fine Sunday here on... The program, and boy oh boy is there some stuff here on this Sunday. But let's see what there is to say. Okada, you look like a, you look like a reject from a sci-fi convention. I think I'm the trendsetter backstage. Come to me for your fashion advice, Rainmaker. Are things that bad? Your lousy career reduce you to digging clothes out of that garbage? These boots gonna be up yo in a minute. Yeah, I mean, you are the Rainmaker, so yeah. So yeah, anyhow, tag team match playa. First on the docket for today, if you haven't already seen the 2K20 trailer, the live action uh, commercial spot has leaked today. So it's out tomorrow, but it leaked today. That's hilarious. So yes, things I can confirm if you haven't already seen that trailer, that one minute spot uh, they put out, or that was put out by somebody leaked somehow this morning. We have confirmation that Hulk Hogan is in the game. We have your cover stars being Becky Lynch and Roman Reigns. Back to a multi-person cover. Awesome. And you finally got Roman on the cover somehow, some way, but you had to include the man, Becky Lynch. And our release date, October the 22nd. I would assume for standard, so perhaps earlier for the deluxe special edition, whatever. Well, that is kind of all the information that I have from that particular video. They showed a little bit of gameplay. It looked just like last year's game. You could have told me it was last year's game, and I would believe you. But, again, at this point in the juncture, don't expect any major graphical overhaul for a game when, like, P PS5 is, like, next year, you know? Like, we're at the very end of the PS4 schedule, lifespan, so don't expect much, especially from 2K, especially from Ukes and Visual Concepts. Don't expect much. So there was that. Yeah, very brief gameplay in there. So not a gameplay trailer. Not really worth having a reaction video for because it was mostly live action. So besides, hey, here's Hogan, there's not much to really discuss there. Well, I missed the slug driver on Ishii, so that's unfortunate. Yes, tag in. Get in the ring. I hate these controls sometimes. I hate these controls sometimes. Going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. Okada! Rainmaker! Wearing the pants. This is the old Okada. This is the depressed Okada where he lost his way and wore pants for a while. It's not what you want. That is not the true ace of New Japan. The true Rainmaker. Anyhow. So yes, that is your 2K20 bit of a leaked business. And hey... It's cool we get back to having the multi-person cover. So, awesome. And it is on track. It is not delayed till next year. It is on track for this year in October. Two and a half months or so. So, yeah. That is happening. And obviously tomorrow, hopefully a much larger news stuff comes out. They've promised us more info than ever on the first day. So, besides that trailer, I'm hoping for a bunch more news. Perhaps a wins my career. Perhaps a GM mode. Perhaps a lot of things. Like, if you're not going to improve the graphics, then improve everything else. Like, more modes, more match types, more everything. So, here's hoping on that. We're going to find out tomorrow. Might have to delay my recording of a, of a video tomorrow, depending on when that news drops. Hopefully at, you know, like, 9 in the morning. But, anyway, uh, I would say if you are a YouTuber, 
perhaps don't film a reaction video to that leak of that because I would imagine once somebody at 2K and Ukes wakes up and goes, wait a minute, those are going to end up with a bunch of copyright strikes on YouTube and you don't want a strike on YouTube. It's bad business. Still watching a bunch of wrestling, uh, you know, in the past day or so. I watched yesterday's G1 uh, and so we'll discuss some of that here. I have not watched today's G1 yet, so I'm very much looking forward to watching Naito and Shingo and Moxley and Jay White. Could, bo could, could both be quite good to have them watched them yet. But yesterday, oh my god, yesterday. So not only did Ibushi beat Tanahashi in a rematch of last year's finals in the G1. That's a big deal of him beating one of his wrestling idols, right? You also, five minutes remain. You also had Sonata, my boy, the Cold Skull, finally got the job done against Okada. After losing like six or seven times, he finally gets it done and gets the win with 13 seconds on the clock. Oh my god, heart in my, ch like just beating out my chest. Like the drama there. Which is why having time limit draws is a great thing because the drama of having a match with a 30 minute time limit and finishing that, that match with 13 seconds to spare with Sonata getting the win there was amazing. Just great wrestling all around. Loved that stuff. So good, man. Just so, so good. So yes, I am continuing to watch every single G1 day and having a great time doing it even if it is a lot of extra wrestling to watch every single day time it's on. It's, it's not every day, but there's still a lot of it, and I'm obviously, I'm trying to film videos at the same time, All right? So, speaking of that, though, there was even more wrestling on last night, and I only watched half of it. I didn't watch the whole show yet. I'm going to try, after finishing this video, to watch the other half of that show of Triple A's biggest show of the year, Triple Mania, was on last night, and it started at, like, 9 p.m. on the East Coast. I'm old. I went to bed. I was tired, all right? I'm like, ah, it's 11 o'clock. I'm going to bed. Right, so, didn't watch all of it. I will say a, f a, a few things, though. That show is usually a pretty big uh, bunch of nonsense every year, but it's enjoyable and entertaining stuff every year. I was very sports entertained from the two hours that I watched of that show. There was some really good stuff on there, and some really just cringe and botch and whatever else, but also just overall entertaining. Big Mommy is still super over, and I love that. That's just, it's, it's great. It's just absolutely great. Now then, I will say that man oh man, they do not care about music licensing for that show at all. So many songs that don't get licensed ever, like say Nirvana, uh, being used as entrance, entrance music was really funny. Really just not caring about, you know, laws and stuff. And it's like, hey, it's live. What are you going to do? Stop us? I don't think so. So, that was amazing. Aerostar continuing to do big, stupid dives and living up to his name being the Aerostar. Like, being descended from the ceiling to jump 15 feet onto guys during a Battle Royal, Royal Rumble type, type match was, again, that's what he does. So, it was amazing. It was amazing. Now, I did bump down the difficulty here one notch. So, it is on Main Eventer. Uh, and I'm still having some problems here. But again, Okada is one of the best in the world. So of course, I have problems pinning Okada. And Chad Gable with the referee in a headlock. That's not going to help anybody. I could have won here, Gable. I could have pinned Okada, the Rainmaker. I could have done it. And it didn't happen because he had a referee in a headlock. Thanks a lot, Chad Gable. Thanks a lot, Chad Gable. Really appreciate it. Anyway. Anyway, this match, can we do it? I wanted a one-on-one, -on -one, Okada, and you tricked me. You tricked me into this tag team match, player. Holla, holla. This is not the World Tag League. What are you doing? I'm just out. I'm just out and about. One, two, and Okada pins me with how many seconds on the clock there? It was, again, at the very, very end. But hey. Ain't no shame in losing to the Rainmaker. Seriously. One of the best to ever do it. 9.49, so 11 seconds on the clock. Okada raised the profile of New Japan. Kurt Angle 
needs matches. And yeah, I understand. There was nothing on the schedule for this week. So sure, you need some matches. So work another match for 15 grand. Uh, that's fine. Like, no problem there. Yeah, sure. I'm already dead, but why not? I just lost to Okada, uh, but why not? Give me a chance to shine and don't make it a multi-man bit of nonsense. Give me a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Uh, and am I defending? Oh no, oh no! Kurt Angle, you set me up! Shenanigans! It's true! Oh wait, never mind, it's Kurt Hawkins. Never mind. It's Kurt Hawkins, I'm good, I'm safe. It's Kurt Hawkins. It's fine. I should be okay. Even on this difficulty, it's still Kurt Hawkins. So... Ah, oh, that's really funny. Kurt Angle, you're really funny. I dig that. Anyway, back to, back to Triple Mania. Uh, here I am, your IC champion, with Chad Gable. Whoa! Fighting Kurt Hawkins. So, much like WWE, Triple A also brings out their old legends for spots in their Battle Royal Royal Rumble type match. So, both Conan and Vampiro. RKO. We're in the building uh, in that match, which was hilarious. Uh, can both very much not in any shape to be in that ring, but both doing it because the fans pop for it. And so, of course, it's wrestling. And also, speaking of old guys and guys who perhaps shouldn't be there because they burned way too many bridges, but still get booked somehow, L.A. Park showed up. Uh, with his kids all in the same kind of mask. Now keep in mind that La Parca, right, was already there in that match because the gimmick is under somebody else now. Somebody else is La Parca. The original La Parca is L.A. Park. And he was, uh, oh no, Kurt Hawkins, no! No, Kurt Hawkins, no! Don't underestimate Kurt Hawkins' rope break. Sorry, Hawkins. Sorry, Hawkins. Oh no, this could be bad. I could lose my icy belt to Kurt Hawkins. Because Kurt Angle screwed me here, and I increased the difficulty of the game. That's my own fault, I suppose. That's a rope break, Kurt. That's a rope break, Kurt. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 Kurt Hawkins. No, 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 no. This is not happening. This can't be happening. So, so yes, after how many times that they would never book L.A. Park again in AAA, he showed up again, and he smashed... The trophy that was awarded for that match, the uh, AAA Cup, something like that. I forget. It was a late night, but uh, that was hilarious to me to see him show up for that. And I'm like, it's the original, he's here! Uh, it was good times. It was good times. Okay, you know what, Kurt Hawkins? This was unfair, and instead of letting you beat me for my IC title, obviously a feel good, a feel -good moment for you, right? Uh, I need to go find something to put you through a table and then move on with my day. Now then, in some news, apparently The Undertaker has been signed. No, 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 Eh -eh. Eh -eh. Come on down, Kurt. Come on down, Kurt. We'll see how it goes here on the outside. Come on down. Bo! Ring bell to your face. Referee is hit. He's stopped counting because he got hit. Fans are booing. Fans are booing. Oh, monkey flip. Slingshot into the hardest part of the ring. There we go. That's what I want. That's what I want. Referee, you are doing nothing, and you're gonna like it. Nothing, and like it. Fight Gable. Fight Gable. Hopping back in. And hopping back out. Hey, Kurt. Hey, Kurt Hawkins. Have a ring bell to you. The ref stole it. You know what? There's more things here on the outside, referee. I have an actual belt here to hit. Oh, spear off the table from Chad Gable. Gable and the table. Match made in heaven. Match made in hell. Here we go. Six. Seven. Ah, Kurt Hawkins. Get up. Get up. Eight. Nine. 
Gable, get him! Get him, Gable! What do you... Mm. He broke the count. He broke the count. Well, so can I. Kurt Hawkins. So can I. This is how we do things here on this show. Anyways. Anyhow. Taker signed a new, apparently, multi-year deal uh, with WWE. So don't expect any more shoot interviews or any more, like, uh, autograph signings or any other things happening with the dead man because Vince don't want him going nowhere and therefore he's staying right where he is. That's down. Break the count. Back on... Oh! Kick me through a table. Thanks, Kurt. Thanks, Kurt. Oh, no. Oh, no, my face. My face. My gorgeous face. Kurt Hawkins. And finally, they've announced that Brock Lesnar will be there on Monday Night Raw. So always good of the champion to show up on the show that he is the champion of for two weeks in a row. So I appreciate that on a certain level, I guess. Referee keeps getting bumped here, which is really funny to me. Really funny to me. Come on, get him. Get him, don't you? There. I got him. I got him. I got him. Hey. I'm gonna retain. I'm gonna retain on the outside. Powerbomb. Powerbomb, Kurt Hawkins. Nine. Ten. Count it, ref. Guess who wins? That's right. Every dirty trick in the book. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. That was an unfair match, Kurt Hawkins. You want a fair match? Then we'll fight in a fair match. I was at, oh, half health. So there you go. I rose. My skill rose defending my IC title. X-Pac renewed his deal with Impact Wrestling. At the age of 75, Inoki has retired. So now who's running New Japan? Is it Ghetto? I hope so. Listen, Attack Slug. They're keeping a close eye on, on your progress, and I think changes have to be made. I have guaranteed creative, Kurt. You aren't strong enough to cut it out as a wrestler. Fans pay to, pay to see people who are larger than life. I'm sorry? Get your strength up to 83% by the third week of April. So I gotta do some strength training here. Okay. Meet Balor Club again. Why do you have a chip on your shoulder, Bella? Why? The fans would embrace you being a face. So lighten it up a little bit. Turn face again. What is with these constant... Um, I am worse than the big show with these face and heel turns. Yeah, sure. About time the fans got behind me to be a face. You all love me, don't you? Like, seriously, worse than the big show. It's ridiculous. And so next time... Once again, we have the possibility for shenanigans with an empty day. Who should I challenge? Leave it down in the comments below. I'm Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos on this channel. See you then. And I'm out.